Hey everybody, it's Rampand. Uh, welcome. I just wanted to, I remember I was going to say that I was going to try and show how I at least install mods for Medieval um, to get them to work and how I can have like several working at once. Um, I'll explain what this thing is over here in a second. But first, this is just what I usually do. Uh, I have to find my Steam thing again. Um, usually it's in, yeah, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you have all your games, Medieval 2, and I already, like, I just tried, where'd it go? Sorry, this is a little jumbled mess, minimize that me. Uh, somebody actually uh, suggested this East of Rome mod a while ago, and I just got around to installing it, so I already through the installation process and just oh just installing it into the area and I've put it here into the mods folder because as it suggested and now what I have to do is make it so I can get it so I can launch it from the launcher either doing what I've been doing which is as you can see I have these somethings Americas these are the original uh, expansions and then these current ones that I have here are other campaigns. I just rename them so I can just launch them easier. Like this is the Planet War. Uh, this one is... Oh, this is the Third Age. This is Stainless Steel. And this is... What is this one? Oh, this is the uh, Game of Thrones one that I have. So I could do that. I could just keep doing that to rename them like that, but I ran out. Uh, I already have four, so I could just rename one, but I also could use this, this uh, Kingdoms Launcher app that I have, which you, I already have it installed, it's right up here. Um, but I, I think you have to have a, an account to install this, but I'll be leaving a link to this. But you download this, open it up, that's loud. Um, and then I click File, New Mod, It'll be under Kingdoms most likely, most are. And then I have to go, uh, yeah, uh, no, local disk. You have to go to the mod folder again. Where are you? Steam, Steam app, common. Hopefully this isn't too dumb of a mess and I'm hoping I'm not going too quickly so people can follow along. And, and then you wanna go to the mod that you want to add on, so I just could click on the EOR, just click it, don't have to find anything because it will find it for me. And there we go, it found the configuration.cfg. Uh, We're going to click OK. And now it should be added on. And now I just need to let's see, um, minimize that, minimize that, no to iTunes, screw you. And then I'm going to try it now. Oh, I'm going to stop recording for now. Well, wait. I'll at least show that it should pop up. So if I go to Medieval, click play, that's really loud. Um, and then see it's right there. That's loud. Just a second. Oh, did it shut up? Okay, good. Shut up. Okay, but as you can see, uh, it's now there, and I'm going to stop the re this recording for now, and then I'm going to load it up and show you that the mod should be working, I hope, so I'll see you guys in a second. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, but as you can see, the mod's actually working, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I can, uh, what's this about? Oh, back, what's that about? Okay, um, but yeah, uh, so, oh. Okay, I might just click that, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, it's all set up. It's kind of cool. Um, I can easily do that just to get everything set up. And this is how I turned Medieval 2, which is usually, I think it's a default of like 8 gigabytes of memory it takes up. I turned it into about a 35 or 40 gigabyte game because of how many mods I have. Um, so yeah. But I'm hoping this I'm hoping this helps some people out um, so that they now know how to actually get mods multiple mods to work with uh, Medieval 
without having to like just inst just have one install for the game and how you can have like with me I have I think six yeah I think I have six mods no five or five or six five or six mods for medieval installed um, but yeah I'm hoping this helped you I'm hoping this guy helped you guys out and I'll see you guys next time.